Um, and we will get started very shortly. So I hope everyone has been staying safe and healthy out there. Uh, one of the biggest um, things that we've seen with the COVID lockdown, and actually a very common question that I get asked is, how has your practice changed in terms of what you do and how you do things, especially during this COVID atmosphere? And I will say that the number one thing that I have heard is that more and more people are now on uh, Zoom. So instead of people coming to me about, you know, noticing little things and imperfections with their magnifying mirrors, now it's, they're on Zoom all day. So they're coming to me about, gosh, I'm on Zoom and I'm starting to notice all of these things about my skin or about my face. And they'll come to me about all the, the imperfections and things that they're bothered by with their Zoom video. So I thought that was really interesting. And then also my population has grown. So it's no longer just, um, you know, the around the wedding time or around a, a big event or the moms coming in. It's really some of the people that are really active and don't have a lot of downtime now do have downtime. So because they're all working from home, they can afford to do these procedures. Um, so that's been very interesting. And if they do a procedure, they usually have a mask on so they can cover themselves up. So those are the kind of couple of things that have changed in our, in our practice. So I thought that was very interesting. Okay, it looks like more and more people are coming. And did you guys text me your, your uh, cocktail of choice this happy hour? Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and very shortly share my screen, but you guys go ahead and text to me. I see some white wine, I see some water. I see my uh, Bailey still in front of me and still full. Okay, bear with me and I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so you can actually see the PowerPoint. We'll get started. It's done. Elaine, can you see my screen? Not yet, Dr. Sonia. Okay, one second. How about now? Not yet. Not yet, okay, bear with me. Technical difficulties. <laughs> okay. I'm going to share my screen and here we go. Can see your screen now. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Elaine, are we good? Yes, yes. Okay. Awesome, wonderful. Okay, thank you guys for being patient here. So I want to start off with some of um, the more popular procedures, including new treatments that we have in our practice. Um, and sort of my approach whenever we look at skin or the body is really talking about uh, the four Ps to pretty skin. So here I am the dermatologist. I try to avoid surgery at all costs whenever I can. So everything I'm going to talk about today is going to be a non-surgical approach no needles, no knife, no stitches, no downtime. Um, these are all in office procedures with very minimal to no downtime. You could literally get them done during your lunchtime. Um, and what I love, the beauty is, is that it can be done on all skin types as well as all skin colors because not everything is safe in ethnic skin and skin of color. And that's what we're experts in. So the beauty of this is literally anyone can do it, men and women and all skin types and all skin colors. So. When I approach 
the four Ps to pretty skin, the number one thing that everyone needs to do before starting anything, just like you brush your teeth every day, just like you shower every day, the same is true for your skin. You've got to start with the basics and the basics really are include medical grade skincare. Um, second, peeling or exfoliating the skin. Then you do your procedure, including lasers or Botox or fillers. And then finally protecting that investment. So there's absolutely a difference for step number one, when you're priming your skin with medical grade skincare, you know, the ingredients matter, the percentage of the ingredients matter, the sourcing of those ingredients matter, the packaging matters. All of these are really, really important to really get penetration into the skin. So that the products actually do their job and work. Um, and that really primes the skin for the next step. And uh, we've got some options for both step one and then step two, exfoliating the skin, especially in the winter months when all of that dead skin is just laying on top of the skin surface. All of those cells are just glued on top and just waiting to be exfoliated off. So there's some in-office treatments as well as at-home regimens that you can be on to help exfoliate the skin, thereby allowing products to work better and therefore the procedures to also work better. And that is the biggest optimal thing that we're trying to do. The procedures we're gonna be talking about are gonna be Botox and fillers today. They also include lasers. And finally, we wanna protect that investment with again, medical grade skincare. So here's the game, you guys. So anytime I say the buzzword natural, you will all take a sip of your cocktail drink. Just don't overdo it. So I'll probably say the word natural a lot. So that is our word of the night is natural. So what happens during the aging process? Well, there's a lot of things that are happening. So if you look at the half um, on this little Barbie on, the, on the, her right side, uh, there's a major difference between her left side. So the right side, it's nice and lifted, it's plump, it's smooth, it's even, versus the opposite side is what happens when the aging process is kicked in. So this is where you get more drooping, more irregularity, um, some loss of fullness of the cheek area, lines, you know, jowls. Um, some people notice a little turkey neck area. So all of these are gradually happening, you know, since we're born, literally. So especially in our 20s and 30s, that's really when our collagen um, degradation happens. So we don't produce as much collagen. After 35, it dramatically decreases in perimenopausal. It is hugely decreased by 35 to 40%. So it's a major difference. And that's why we start noticing all of these things one day creep up on our skin. So what's happening underneath the skin? There's a lot of things that are happening in every single layer of the skin. So if we look at young skin, there are three main layers, the epidermis, the top layer, the dermis, the middle layer, and the hypodermis or the fat layer, which is the bottom layer. And um, we notice that all of these layers thin out the epidermis thins out. The dermis no longer has the same bounciness because it's lost hyaluronic acid, collagen, elastin. Fat has also decreased and diminished. But also under that layer is the muscle. That's also degrading. Under that layer is the bone. And that is also degrading, especially if there's a history of osteoporosis. Um, and all of these are structure structural units that keep the skin looking fresh and plump and lifted. And so when you combine all of these skin changes that are happening underneath, you know, microscopically, the gravity is another external factor that is contributing. So that's what really um, causes some of that sagging and the heaviness of the lower face and the jowling. Our face truly changes from 20s to your 50s because of all of these uh, metabolic changes happening under the skin. So we're going to talk about one of my uh, favorite treatments uh, done in the office, something called the hydrofacial. I call it the microdermabrasion of the future um, because it really does a lot of things um, all in one treatment. So what is hydrofacial MD? It's basically a non-invasive, again, everything I'm talking about is no surgery, no downtime. Um, it's a red carpet type treatment. So if you're getting ready for an event um, or function, then this will really give you that glow. Um, does a lot of great things. It helps remove all those dead skin cells on top of the skin. It helps clean out those pores and it deep cleanses, it hydrates and it ultra moisturizes. So you actually get to see a glow immediately after your treatment. That's one of my favorite parts. So I'm gonna show you a little video if it works okay, how it's done.
So that gives you a little sampling of what it's doing underneath the skin. So there's literally three to four steps along with red light or blue light that's also combined for a deluxe treatment. Then that can also, red light's great for anti-aging and helping to stimulate collagen as well as blue light for acne prone patients who um, have uh, issues with breakouts or hormonal breakouts. It can actually kill some of the bacteria underneath the skin. And what comes out of your skin is quite scary. Actually, you get to see it afterwards and uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's very interesting what comes out. Um, just a little, little bit about um, people who are getting it done, a little testimonials and what it looks like as they're getting it done. Uh-oh. Oh, so sorry. Don't know why that happened. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen again. Sometimes the videos will knock me out. Does anyone have any questions so far while this is loading again? Feel free to ask away. Okay, got it almost loaded here. You have a question, Dr. Sonia? How sure. often did you get a hydrofacial? From Maria. So, oh, this is great. So I usually do this once a month because um, I love having that um, feeling of freshness and clean cleanliness because um, it, it does deep clean and hydrate the skin. So a lot of my um, patients who get it done actually do it on a one once a month schedule. Um, and people do love it so much that they continue with it. So that's the beauty of it. And can you see my screen? I'm gonna try to share my screen again. Do you see it? Not yet. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay, bear with me. I might have a little bit of low Wi-Fi connection here. That's the beauty is I could see you guys virtually, but um, we are limited by some of the connectivity sometimes. So thank you for your patience. And Dr. Okay. Sonia, we do have some questions in the chat box as sure. well. Yes, fire away. Does it how long? <laughs> <laughs> how long uh, does the treatment take and does it hurt? Oh, great question. So depending on uh, what type of treatment you're signing up, it could be anywhere between 30 minutes to one hour. Um, and I actually wanted to show you myself getting the treatment. So can you see my screen? Yes. Great. Um, here's some before and after pictures actually of um, patients who've gotten the hydrofacial done. Um, and so the idea is it's really smoothing out the texture. It's shrinking some of the pores. Um, it can actually be used for rosacea. Um, people, it's, it's gentle enough for my rosacea patients and those with sensitive skin and some rosy cheeks and redness. Um, and it gives this, you can, you can see the immediate glow right afterwards because it's deeply hydrating. There's literally like four different layers of hydration that's going in there and going, sucking in deep into the pores. And that's what I love about it. Red carpet treatment right before events is really great. Really popular among my acne patients, um, my teenagers with acne, my hormonal acne patients, um, you know, back knee, you know, so acne on the back, also mask knee. These days people are breaking out from their masks. Um, that's a great treatment for it as well to keep it under control. Um, and then also after laser treatment. So sometimes what happens with laser treatments is the brown spots actually come up to the surface of the skin. They get darker. So that's what's happening here, but we can exfoliate them off with the um, exfoliation of the hydrofacial. And it just helps to really clean and evenly tone there. So here I am getting the treatment. It does not hurt. It's actually a very spa-like treatment. Another one. So there's a little pinkness as she's doing the next step. You can kind of see there. 
I'm trying to help my hyperpigmentation right now. So we posted that um, on Instagram, just so people get an idea of what a treatment is like. Here's the next layer going in. And the next layer. And then I also did my back, um, though I don't have breakouts, I have something called keratosis pilaris, which is this rough texture kind of goose bumpy skin on the sides of my arm. So I did my arms and I did my back and it just helped to give that glow and just a little more resurfacing, more smoothness to it. Um, so there I am getting it done. So yeah, so this, I was really excited to get back in during COVID after the COVID was done. This is the first treatment that I got. So I hope that helps to answer some of those questions about the hydrofacial. It is one of my favorite treatment options there. Uh, once a month, no downtime. Works really, really well to peel some of those dead layers off, especially the winter skin. And then that makes all of your products work better and also your treatments work better. So we're going to go to the next step, which is... Um, Lots of people who get Botox and fillers done. This is a really common treatment. So hopefully um, most people are familiar with it by now. Um, there's different kinds of sort of Botox. So there's Botox, the newest kit on the block are Dysport, Xeomin, Javo. There's a couple of other ones in the works. And essentially these are all FDA approved injectables to help relax those um, muscles that cause the frown lines and crow's feet. We can certainly do it in other areas as well. We even use it for excessive sweating, hyperhidrosis. So there's a lot of off label FDA uses as well. And here's what we're trying to do. Essentially, we see a patient like this who's got lines and wrinkles. It could have been because of genetics, because of normal aging, um, sun damage, especially if you were that generation that did a lot of like tanning. And, you know, I've heard all the stories with the aluminum foils and the iodine and the UV beds and um, that is um, the most, you know, important cause of lines and wrinkles. Um, so those are, you know, some of the underlying um, causes of why we start seeing lines and wrinkles, especially if it's early on. Another really big one is lifestyle. So smoking and diet and stress, all of these contribute how you sleep at night, what side you sleep on. Um, so I tell people try to sleep on your back. I know easier said than done. I can't do it, but if you really want to do everything you can, that is one thing. And what we're trying to do here is we're targeting muscle. So these are the muscles of facial expression. So I kind of in red kind of drew out the areas that we would potentially treat this patient. Five point injections for those little um, forehead, those little frown lines there. And then another um, one, two, three, four, five points up on the forehead there. So what we're trying to do is really relax the muscles that contribute to facial expression. So here I'm trying to show you, actually, um, I use this app that allows you to see the muscles, my muscles of facial expression. So here's all of the areas we're doing it is those corrugators and procerus muscles. And then this big frontalis muscles that causes lines in the forehead. And then your crow's feet, the orbicularis oris, uh, oculus muscle there, and then even underneath the eye, which is the uh, or orbicularis oculus muscle. Um, we could also do it for these bunny lines, the nasalis. We could do it for the DAO, which um, causes those marionette lines. We could do it for people who've got issues with um, biting at night, grinding at night, the TMJ, the master muscle, we can knock that out a little bit. And also for the neck, the platysmal bands of the neck. So people don't want surgery. Sometimes we can actually help knock out a couple of those muscles to give you a little mini uh, little facelift effect. Now, remember all of these are temporary. They last about three months. So it's not a permanent fix, but it's something so easy that people really like doing coming into their lunchtime, getting it done very uh, effectively within two weeks, seeing the results. And it's a very natural result. That's what we're all after. Don't forget to drink, natural result. So here are common areas that we will do for Botox. But remember the name of the game is always a combination of treatments. We're doing four P's to pretty skin. So we're combining this with other modalities, including skincare, including hydrofacial. And a lot of times we're doing Botox and fillers together. So 
how do we know which is which? What do we use for what? Generally, the upper third of the face, we're generally using Botox. The lower third of the mid face and the lower uh, face, we're generally using fillers. Um, just as sort of a general rule. Obviously we combine and, and do it off, um, off areas as well, um, but it works very effectively and very safely together as a combination approach. Uh, we're gonna get to the filler section in just a bit, but here's some before and afters to show you the natural, the natural effects that Botox has in the crow's feet. You can use it for skin of color um, very safely and effectively. Um, again, those uh, frown lines and forehead lines are the most common areas that we do along with the crow's feet. Hey, men get it done too. There is a thing called Brotox. So those men that are on the line or your wife is making you watch this with you, my men are about a third of my patients. So believe it or not, we get a lot of men who do these treatments because um, they want to look good too. And here's um, a depiction showing that um, at day seven, you can actually see the um, see it kicking in at day 90, which is three months is when you start having the muscle movement come back. And that is exactly when you want to start retreating is around that three to four month period. Very safe treatment, very effective. Again, we don't want to achieve a frozen look. We want to achieve a very natural res result. We want you to um, feel good about the procedure, looking fresh and rejuvenated. So the idea is people come to you to say, wow, you look great for your age, or you look refreshed, or you look like you just came back from vacation, or you look very rested. You know, those are the outcomes we're, we're hoping to have. So we're gonna move on to the next section, which is cosmetic fillers. Very common treatment that we do amongst our population, again, who do Botox and hydrofacial also get fillers done. Um, we're generally filling in lines and wrinkles. Botox is targeting muscles, a facial expression. Dermal fillers are filling in those lines and wrinkles that you see on the mid face and the lower face. We're trying to add back that natural volume that you've lost over time. Um, especially with very natural fillers, such as hyaluronic acid and calcium-based ones. Um, hyaluronic acid, think of it as a sponge. It's basically tracting all this water around it and plumping up the skin very naturally and effectively. And over time, it does get degraded. Generally about a year is how long most of these fillers will last. Um, some may last a little bit less depending on the areas of injection because um, our, muscle, our facial expressions also degrades the products over time, um, as well as the product itself. Um, some of the products are made to last up to even two years. So, um, you know, we kind of combine uh, different fillers depending on what your outcome is. Now, age matters, I've noticed. So I've got my patients who are coming in in their 30s getting it done more for the preventative aspects, but even more so because of the social media aspect. They're coming in to like contour and getting their lips full and making their makeup go on better. And so they're really trying to actually do more of a contouring effect uh, versus my 50 year olds are coming in maybe to prevent surgery or delay surgery. Um, they are starting to notice some lines and creases and they're trying to do a little tweaking as they can. Um, those that are in my six, the 60s and 70 year olds may have gotten facelifts at this point, but now want to optimize their treatment plan. So they'll go into maintenance mode with some of this stuff, or maybe they don't even want surgery because that's our theme today is trying to avoid surgery. And so they'll come in for uh, regular <laughs> uses of Botox and fillers. Now the general rule of the game here is Let generally you're doing one syringe per yes. decade of life. So it might seem like a lot for some people who are coming in. So if you're 50 years old, we may recommend five syringes and that will still give you a very natural result. Now, one thing to remember, that one syringe is only about a fifth of a teaspoon. And all we're trying to do is doing micro droplets of injection, trying to give a natural look. We don't want you to look overdone. We don't want you to look unnatural. We don't want you to look like a real Housewives of Beverly Hills where you can't move your face or anything like that. that that's not the, game, the name of the game. We're trying to harmonize the face, balance things to give you the most natural, optimal look possible and to also extend the longevity of the filler. So if it's a one-year filler, we wanna get one year out of it. And that means also utilizing um, an optimal ratio. Um, so just to uh, review, um, Juvederm and Restylane, those are some name brand fillers that are hyaluronic acid based. Again, we're, we're using it for the mid face and the lower face. 
Um, the mid face we can actually volumize with things that are actually longer lasting, such as Voluma, which is two years. Um, and the lower face, we will combine it with one year fillers um, because those are the FDA indications of the lower face to use the one year fillers. Now saying that we do do things off label all the time. So we mix and match according to what your needs are, what your outcome is. Um, something that everyone should know, side effects. We know that when we get into the skin, we're doing a lot more injections with uh, fillers. So it's very important to understand that you are gonna get some swelling that will dissipate within a couple of days. But more importantly, you, wait, you will get bruising. I tell people to expect bruising. If you don't get it, hey, we're all happy, but I like to set the expectations. And here is why, because we've got a lot of vessels in our underneath our skin and we cannot see where these vessels are. So under the eye is a very common area to do fillers and look at all the vessels there. The uh, zygomatic arch, which is the cheekbone area, very common area. The smile lines and there's got a, there's a whopping doozy over there with a, um, with a, uh, a branch uh, a vessel there. And there's other areas as well. So around the mouth, you can see, and these are typical areas that we work all the time and everyone's anatomy is also very different. Um, so I tell people to expect bruising. Um, so this is something you may want to schedule out. Um, certainly, you know, I, I had a lot of brides coming in who wanted it to look great for their photo shoot on their wedding day. And I told them to make sure that you do it, you know, weeks in advance, maybe even uh, months in advance, just to make sure that you do okay. And there's, you know, bruising is gone and everything is good to go for the big day. You would never want to do it the day before, you know, a couple of days before an important event. So it's something that's a lunchtime procedure that you just want to just know that there, you know, will be no downtime, but social downtime is what you want to be ready Ready for certainly could wear some makeup and again this is poor soul had um, all the different structures drawn on her vessels and veins and nerves so there's a whole collection of things that we're trying to be very mindful of whenever we do do fillers so the cheeks is a very common place that we will um, use a product like Voluma, which lasts two years. And here, what we're trying to do is volumize. And you can see the beautiful OG curve of the cheek um, after one month of treatment. Now, this patient had three and a half um, syringes to obtain this result. But having that three and a half syringes in somebody who is more of a mature patient, this is going to go a long way for her. This is why it lasts two years. Had she done only one syringe first, she, could, she may not have seen any effect and may not have lasted her as long. So it's very important um, when we do a consultation, we talk about um, optimizing a treatment plan that is right and specific for you, mainly to get the longevity um, out of it, to get you still the natural result um, that you're after. And that's really important. Just some before and afters to show um, the nasal labial folds or the smile lines, again, very natural. Uh, the cheekbone area done with the Voluma, um, you can see more light reflection in the after pictures versus the before. Uh, the nasal labial folds, again, those smile lines, much softer, um, still very natural. She doesn't look done up. She doesn't look, she still looks natural, but just more rested. Um, the marionette lines are a great common place that we do, those frown lines there. Um, same thing as the cheekbone area here, um, more mature patients also, we can combine cheekbone um, temples as well as the uh, smile lines. Skin of color, great uh, treatment plan for them as well for nasal labial folds. Um, again, my younger patients here, they're usually getting like fuller lips because of the social media. This is immediately after a natural lip plumper. So you can actually see where it was injected. It was done at the very side there using a cannula approach. With the cannula approach, there is less bruising, thankfully, um, and less swelling. So this is actually a very nice natural result immediately after. Um, here's again, uh, younger patients, social media, wanting to get more of the fullness in her lips, make her makeup look better um, and really achieve that result very naturally. More mature skin, who've got more of the lines, the smokers lines, the lipstick, especially if you start wearing your lipstick and it starts to run through those lines, uh, women hate that. So this, by just kind of softening that up uh, will also help the makeup to look on, look better and smoother. Combination treatments with lasers work really well. So Botox lasers and fillers work beautifully in this area. Uh, again, very natural, uh, just more refreshed. We're not changing the dimensions of her face. We just want her to look and feel the best that she can What with um, her beautiful features being able to you know, stand out. 
Again, men get it done just as much as women do. Um, men, I've noticed, are getting it done more for the contouring effect as well. Um, lines and wrinkles for the more mature skin. My younger patients are more contouring. So jawline was done here with a calcium-based product for syringes in order to really achieve a more of that chiseled result. And a mature patient was getting it done more for those lines and wrinkles. You can see the smile lines are much softer and the lower face looks better. Again, very natural um, and you know, very little downtime. Uh, here's actually a staff member of ours whose ethnic skin uh, works around the clock and also as a newborn. So noticing more of the under eye circles um, that he hates. Uh, everyone thinks that he looks tired and just was tired of that. So he wanted to get a little bit more refreshed look and so got a little plumper, a, uh, an injectable done right underneath the eye with a really nice natural result. Uh, noses. Noses are really great also for the right candidates. You don't have to have surgery done. If it's something um, with the bridge, we can actually correct that just using a filler with very good long-term effects. Um, the ones that are haven't had any rhinoplasties done are really the best candidates for that, um, just a safer option. And they really love it. Literally within 15 minutes, 20 minutes, we can get this done. And this is immediately after with very little downtime. And so patients are extremely happy with this. Again, to reiterate, combination treatments are going to be the best way, the best approach. So we're doing Botox and fillers and lasers and, of course, medical grade sunscreen because we're, we're really focusing on the approach to the four P's to pretty skin. Okay. Any questions that I can answer? Yeah, Dr. Sonia, I have a few questions here from Hydrofacial still. So okay. what is the recovery time once you have your first application? Hydrofacial has no recovery. So you can literally go do whatever you need to do. I just basically did that and I went um, out shopping right afterwards, uh, got my groceries done and everything. I had a few Zoom calls and, you know, you look just a glowy, beautiful you. Um, so there's really no downtime whatsoever. Um, most important thing is just don't be out in the sun for long periods of time with any of these treatments because you don't want that sensitivity of the sun. Otherwise, there's no downtime. You don't have to stop your life for these procedures. Okay, thank you for that. Um, sure. I know this will be discussed later, but do you want to answer other products that you use with the hydrofacial? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that one for later. Lori, our expert on our medical grade skincare, is going to talk more about that and pairing of products, which will be really great and useful. So I'll leave that for later. Okay, and we have one more. Does it help with brown spots? And how long does the glow last? Yes. Um, so brown spots are beautiful. Actually, that's why I was doing it in that video that I was showing you is for hyperpigmentation because I do still um, break out from time to time with hormonal acne. Um, and so when the, when the acne goes away, it leaves brown spots. So I do this once a month and it helped along with skincare, um, along with the hydrofacials once a month, it really dramatically reduced uh, my hyperpigmentation greatly. And then once it's gone, it's gone. So um, you should notice an effect pretty quickly. And there's some great, um, you know, salicylic acid and glycolic acids that will also help to really do the job with breaking up some of that pigment and exploiting the skin, uh, exfoliating the, that pigment off. That's great. Um, we have more questions for the fillers. Can you use this in the jaw and neckline? And what is in the fillers? So the fillers are great to use for the face, as I mentioned, the mid face and lower face and the jawline is perfect for that. I showed a couple of pictures of the jawline being used in the lower face. Um, the neck can be done, although there is, um, we have to assess for good candidacy there. There are some things to just be wary of, especially if people are, um, do have older, are more mature skin and have more of the sagging skin. Um, you, you know, you might not be the best candidate, um, but the, the jawline is wonderful for any age and in all patients. Um, generally. So yeah, great area for that. Okay, last question. Um, how much is hydrofacial and what is the process for determining one's needs? Do you offer a consultation? Yes, great question. We're going to get to that um, at the end of this talk on how you can get a complimentary consultation on any of these procedures that we're talking about. Um, and then Laura is going to also be talking to you about the Elite Club program. So if you really are interested in all of these potentially treatments from now or in the future, you can actually lock in some great pricing for that um, after a complimentary consultation. So we're going to be discussing that as well. Okay, so I'm going to get into the last 
section. If you and, and, and any questions you have, you can keep it in the text box or at the very end, we're going to show uh, tell you exactly where to fill out the contact form. And you can also put your questions in there. We can answer them tomorrow when we call you. OK. And just for time's sake, I want to just go ahead and go to the next part because we have a few more things to talk about. So, um, oh, by the way, fillers, uh, the other place that's very popular and FDA approved is the hands. So if you're noticing some crepiness of the hands, the hands are wonderful to plump up and you'll see the immediate difference right there. Um, so people, uh, that's a very common treatment as well. So we're now talking about things off the face. So body contouring is one of the most important popular, like popular treatments that we do because we are a body sculpting center and we see people around the world. And we've literally seen people from six continents, um, 25 countries, 49 states for body sculpting. And the reason why is because we've got the best devices and we do a combination of treatments to really give the best results. What I'm talking about today will be only one aspect of the body um, sculpting, but the best, the beauty of this is it's all um, no downtime, no surgery. So it's again, a lunchtime procedure, but oftentimes we will combine it with other body sculpting procedures. Um, and we can assess that during your complimentary visit with us. So fellow shape, what is it? It is basically a body contouring um, device that I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh-oh, it doesn't like me doing videos. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. It does not like me doing videos. <laughs> I apologize. It does not like me doing videos. And I think that's been my issue. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Okay, I can answer some more questions. I'll go ahead and load that part. I might not show as much, many videos. Okay. Um... One question here, have you heard of any patients having an allergic reaction to Moderna vaccine if they had previous fillers? I've heard some individuals have had to take Benadryl. Okay, really great question and very, um, you know, it's actually very timely. Uh, we just updated our consent forms as well to reflect that. So the Moderna vaccine has been known to cause um, increased um, swelling um, and reactions in areas where you've um, had filler placement done within the past six months. So saying that um, when they looked at the study, uh, there were like 30,000 patients, I believe, that were in the study. And when they computed how many people actually had reactions, it was less than 0.0001%. So it was a very, 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 very minimal and very small risk, but we chose to still put in our consent forms. Um, if it does happen in that 0.0001% of the time, then I agree we should we would treat it pretty much the same as we would anybody who has excessive swelling, a little extra swelling, which is maybe some Benadryl, which may be some uh, steroid shot, um, you know, in the skin actually can help calm down some of the inflammation or maybe some oral antihistamines. Um, so other types of antihistamines. So all of those are potential treatment options. It will go away. It is temporary. So nothing to be alarmed by. Um, I would definitely not um, avoid getting the vaccine if you have had filler placement. It's such a low risk. Um, and I think the risk for contracting um, COVID is much higher. So I think that it's very important to um, definitely, um, you know, keep up with the vaccination. Okay, I'm almost loaded in. Any other questions I can answer? Um, is Vela shape similar to sauna bello? Uh, Vela shape similar to, I'm sorry, which one? Sono bello. So sono bello is another um, a body sculpting device. It is different. I can't tell you exactly all the differences with it. Ours is a radio frequency and infrared and suction device, um, mm -hmm. but there are several on the market and they do different things in terms of body sculpting. Um, so it's one of those things that you want to compare apples to apples. Um, we don't carry that machine, so I can't tell you apples to apples. It's the ones that we have are the ones that I've studied that I know work very, very well, and we get very consistent uh, results. Um, so, and that's the main reason that we're actually talking more about um, the Vela shape. Three, I told you, I told you. 
Okay, and I hope you guys can see my screen. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay, wonderful. And I can answer any other questions while I'm just loading again. Um, what's the diff Do you prefer vela shape uh, versus cool sculpting? Okay, great question. I was just going to get into that. So we, um, because we are a body sculpting center, we have Vaser Lipo, we have Cool Sculpting, we have the Z-Wave, we have um, Vela Shape. The combination of all of these treatments works really, really well together. So one of our very popular treatments that we do is Cool Sculpting, which freezes the fat cells and we combine it with two other FDA cleared devices. One is Vela Shape to help tighten the skin. And finally, the Z Wave to actually help break up more of those fat layers. And here, here it is. So um, here's Vela Shape. And here's what we're trying to do is um, we're trying to decrease the body circumference here. So in the belly, um, you could see that some of that has decreased. And we're also help, helping cellulite reduction. But what it's also doing is here, we're trying to um, combine it with something called the Elite Sculpt, which is Vaser Lipo, and then uh, Elite uh, Freeze is when we combine it with Cool Sculpting. So Cool Sculpting comes first, 25% of the fat is gone. We'll probably do that on a monthly basis for two to three sessions, depending on what our outcome is, and then follow that up with Vela Shape procedures. So the tightening and fat reduction really give a great, great result. Um, those people who want more than 25, 30% of fat reduction, they're looking at Vaser Lipo, which is a type of laser lipo, um, but using ultrasound technology. And if you want 75 to 80% of the fat cells gone, this is a great procedure um, to really help to use heat to melt the fat, get uh, suctioned out, and then followed by a vela shape to really tighten the skin up. So those work beautifully in our hands. And I mean, the pictures, if, if we were doing a talk would be mind blowing. Um, we did this talk about three months ago and I mean, people just were wowed by some of the results. So it works beautifully in our hands. Um, and those are the main procedures that we do for body sculpting. So good question. So just to review again, Vela Shape, it's been around for about 10 years, uh, really great uh, safety and efficacy profile. Um, this is one of the top procedures that we do. This machine never stops when we um, are in the office. We have that many people coming in because we're a body sculpting center. Some people will just do it alone for cellulite reduction or a little skin tightening if they're good candidates. Some people will combine it with other treatment modalities that they're looking for increased fat reduction and even more um, circumference reduction. You can do it all season, anytime, year round. Um, so again, smooth ins and tightens, um, you know, various cellulite stages. And you can see a half and half between the untreated versus the treated side. No downtime, you could literally go and do whatever you want. I actually had a video, which I didn't upload in here of me doing the Vela shape and videotaping the procedure done at the same time. It was in between patients. And then I went downstairs and saw patients for the rest of the afternoon. So there's really no downtime with this. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, introduce Lori, who is our expert in our medical grade skincare. And I'm really excited because she gets to talk about how these wonderful procedures pair really, really well with um, skincare. So Lori, I'm gonna let you take it away. Hey, thank you. Um, I'm excited to talk about this because this is a very, very important part of um, everything that Dr. Sonia has just explained to you all. Um, having skincare following um, the procedures is, is, I can't express how important it is to maintain um, the results that you are trying to achieve. Um, the first topic that we'll kind of go over is the hydrofacial um, and, the, and the products that we recommend to pair with the hydrofacial procedure. Um, what's wonderful about the hydrofacial is it combines cleansing, exfoliation, extraction, hydration, and antioxidant prote protection simultaneously in all one procedure. Um, in order to maintain the results um, that you're going to be seeing from your hydrofacial, we recommend having a skincare regimen to go home with and, um, and, and be religious in applying. Um, so the, the few things that we're gonna talk about today um, would be the skin brightening scrub, the Hydro Boost Serum, the Enriched Phyto Stem Cell Therapy Cream, and the BB Primer 
and the Liquid Gold RX Serum. Um, so I'll just kind of go through each individual product and tell and explain the importance of how it will help in um, elongate your procedures uh, results. Um, and then if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, so we'll start with the brightening scrub. Um, so the brightening scrub contains salicylic and uh, glycolic acid. It's got biodegradable beads. It's a great exfoliation. And what you're trying to achieve by, a by getting the hydrofacial is essentially a good part of that is exfoliation and extraction. So this product is going to brighten your skin. It also can be used on the body as well. Like Dr. Sonia mentioned that she used to sometimes will apply hydrofacial on other parts of the body aside from the face. You can use this product on your back your arms. Um, and so it's still good. It's going to give you that bright, um, uh, uh, glowing uh, appearance. Um, it's going to give you a great smooth texture as well, which is part of what hydrofacial achieves. Um, the other product is the Hydro Boost Serum. This is a wonderful product that's going to uh, hydrate your skin. It's going to plump and reduce the signs of aging. Um, this, this product is amazing to where it's a pure ultra hydrating serum, quenches and dehydrated skin for a subtle smooth complexion um, and all day moisture retention. So um, it's going to maintain the hydration in your skin, um, especially in during this time of the year where it's winter, things can be a little bit dry. Um, this product um, is also great anti-aging uh, and, it, and it has lots of nourish nourishing antioxidants as well. Your skin will appear brighter and firmer and rejuvenated with this product. This is a great product to pair with pretty much any, any of Dr. Sonia's procedures. <laughs> um, and then the enriched phyto cell, stem cell therapy cream. This is a great product for just all around moisture. Um, it's rich in ceramides. Um, it's going to protect the lipid barrier, your skin's outer barrier from um, dehydration. Um, and especially for the winter time, um, this is going to, would be a wonderful, uh, winter, uh, moisturizer. And then I can't express, um, enough about, um, sunscreen. Sunscreen is very, very important after a hydrofacial procedure. You want to protect your skin. Your skin's going to be ultra sensitive to the UV rays. So you want to make sure that you protect, um, your skin with, uh, the BB primer is an, um, all mineral SPF 50, um, it has a little bit of tint to it, uh, which is great. And it has a mattifying finish. Um, and then also a uh, retinol. Uh, retinol is known for um, providing um, cellular turnover in the skin. It um, helps uh, It helps with your tone texture. Um, it's a great anti-aging uh, uh, product. And so this would actually help um, your skin long-term look, look, look younger and uh, more balanced as far as the, the texture and tone. And what so I'm gonna say about this, Lori, is that if you're gonna think of, you know, what are the things that you should definitely be putting in your armamentarium no matter what, whether mm -hmm. you're having a treatment in office or not, has to be a sunblock. And so the BB primer is one of them. And actually we're actually, I think we might even be sold out for a while because it's that popular. Um, but there's there's other sunscreens that have high zinc SPF 30, which is my go-to, my der like dermatologist, all dermatologists will tell you, you need an SPF 30 or higher. And preferably my preference is with zinc oxide and it's gonna give you the best protection. And then retinol, that's sort of the, um, the next best product anti-aging that's going to prevent lines and wrinkles in the future. The sooner you can get on it, the better your skin will be over time. As soon as I found out those secrets, I was on that in medical school every single day of my life, except when I got pregnant, I was off of retinol. But ever since then, that's been my absolute most important advice is to be on those two products. So, um, and Lori, just for the interest of time, I'm gonna go through a couple of the other slides if that's okay. Sure. A um, couple of things that I want people to know is if, we talked about a lot of the procedures. If you're not ready for procedures, there's always skincare to always fall back on. But the other thing that I'll recommend in the office is look, if you're getting the procedure done and if you wanna highlight and make those products last better and longer for you, you definitely wanna do um, the pairing with other um, products such as these. The Dermafil and Firmalift are the no needles duo kit. That means you don't need any new needles and you'll still get effect with collagen stimulation and helping with uh, longevity as well. 
um, if you decide to do fillers and Botox. So the Dermafill works very similar to what the filler is doing in that it's helping to rebuild the skin from underneath um, inside out. Um, and I know there's some really great pentapeptides in there, which is something I recommend um, after retinol is the pentapeptides to help with reducing fine lines and wrinkles. Fermi Lift is great for firming and lifting the skin. So it pairs so well with our Botox treatment. So after our Botox, we'll, we'll tell people to be on the Fermi Lift to really try to extend the longevity of the Botox. It's got also some pept um, hexapeptides in there. And I think there was a great study uh, that was done that showed that it can reduce uh, lines 30% uh, in 30 days, which is, which is huge, it's amazing. Um, it's got a lot of natural um, ingredients in there as well, uh, as well as um, some great um, hydration, um, which is awesome. If you are getting any sort of um, specific areas treated, so for example, the lips, I will pair with the Voluma lip. If you're doing the neck, I'll pair with the necklace. If you're doing around the eyes, I'll pair with eye brightening cream. If you're doing it for just lines and wrinkles in general, guess what? I want you to get more hydration in your skin. So the Hydro Boost is really great to really uh, amp that up, the hydration, the moisture levels within the skin. So I know Lori would have gone into all the wonderful ingredients in here, but I just want to make sure for time's sake, we get through everything, which is um, don't want to overwhelm everybody. Vela shape we talked about for body contouring. My main go-to here is Stry Titan body butter. This is like your, it's your retinol all over your body. So retinol, you know, that is the number two ingredient to look for after sunscreen, but um, also just as important for helping with collagen production and prevention of the sagging and the lines and the crepiness, especially for the hands that I see a lot, especially around the abdomen, um, especially for those cellulitic areas. It works really, really well. It's going to be great prevention for you over the long run uh, with really wonderful ingredients in it um, that are antioxidants. Um, and uh, resveratrol, by the way, if you guys are drinking wine, uh, red wine resveratrol is an antioxidant that is really great for not only um, your skin, but also your heart. So these are, these, I don't, I think this is probably one of our top seller because we get so many body procedures um, going, but again, a great way to prime your skin. Um, so the uh, promotion that is going on for, I think the next 24 to 48 hours is going to be this um, buy any three items and you can get 15% off the entire order. So you guys know two, two things that I recommend everyone to be on the planet. If you're not already on a medical grade sunblock and retinol will be your two, and then maybe a specialty product could be your third and you can lock in savings. If you wanted to actually uh, think about doing this as your new year, new you regimen and just stay on it, you can subscribe and save and actually lock in those savings at 15% off and it's door delivered to you. So for your safety and convenience, you don't have to worry about coming to the office. You don't have to worry about calling us. It's just literally just auto shipped to you at your doorstep um, very conveniently. So a lot of people will take advantage of this, especially after they know that they need to be on two products at least for the rest of their life. Um, or especially after they come in, we tailor a regimen for them that's very specific to their individual needs and goals. Um, this is a great opportunity also to lock in some of those savings. Okay, so I know I went through a lot of stuff between Lori and I. Any questions so far with skincare? Um, Dr. Sonia, can you mention again those three things uh, you had just mentioned earlier a while ago? The products that I recommend, yes. so these are the things that I'm on. Sunblock, 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 forever and ever and ever. SPF 30 or higher with zinc oxide. So if you look at our store, um, which we're going to give you the website for, all of them are going to have high levels of zinc concentration. Some of them are just going to be more hydrating. Some of them might be more, a little more tinted. Um, so depending on some of them is more sport and outdoorsy. So depending on what your lifestyle is, you can decide what sunblock is right for you. There's also sprays. There's also powders. The most important thing I made sure there's a whole variety of sunscreens because I want every single person on the planet to be on sunblock. That's going to prevent skin cancers. It's going to prevent lines and wrinkles and dark spots and aging, all the good stuff. Number two, you must be on. And so write down all of these things, sunblock and then retinol. A high potency retinol um, is important to look for. And again, just as I mentioned, over the counter is not the same as medical grade. Percentages matter, sourcing of the ingredients matter, um, penetration matters, um, packaging matters. Um, in fact, most of the retinols that are out there um, at the drugstore aren't even in the correct packaging. So all of that is degraded by the time you actually get it. 
My, the vitamin C's that I talk about all day, a lot of them are not in the correct packaging. They're already degraded by the time you open the bottle because they're very sensitive, they're very unstable. So you're actually um, putting on things that are, that are not stable and that have actually degraded that could even be actually more toxic to your skin. So again, I just want everyone to understand it's not apples and apples, just looking for ingredients. There's a whole science behind building skincare. Uh, which I've definitely learned over time as I, as, because I have a passion and interest in it. So those are the two most important thing. And the third one I'd say for winter skin might be a great hydrator, a great moisturizer. Um, the Hydro Boost was great that Lori had mentioned. Uh, we also have uh, other moisturizers such as Quench or an ultralight moisturizing cream if you've got um, more of the uh, oily skin. So there's a whole section on just moisturizers itself. I'd say those are your three top kind of go-to products right now during, uh, for winter skin. Okay, and with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce uh, Laura. She is our expert with our Elite Club membership. So if this is something that is of interest, um, some of the procedures and the products that we've been discussing, and you are ready to make a change and it's time for new year, new you, natural beauty inside out, um, this is the best thing to sign up for called the Elite Club membership. So I'll let Laura take it away with that. Thank you, Dr. Sonia. So what we're super excited to share with you all tonight is the Elite Club. If you haven't already heard about the Elite Club, it's an exclusive membership program customized specifically for elite patients just like yourself. So it allows you to maintain those beautiful, healthy, and natural results without worry of payment in full or the stress of staying on schedule. So the Elite Club membership benefits. You have a customized treatment plan that's completely tailored to your needs and desired results. No treatment plan is permanent, so feel free to customize your own treatment plan with a combination of the different services that Dr. Sonia mentioned today. Affordable monthly payments fit into everyone's budget, so we simply take the total cost of the treatment that you wish to receive and divide it by the amount of months between your next visit. You'll receive access to specials throughout the year, only available to Elite Club members, including discounts on the skincare products that Dr. Sonia mentioned. You'll also be grandfathered in to lower pricing regardless of the yearly practice-wide increases, so you are truly locked into your treatment cost. Uh, the Elite Club membership receive priority appointment bookings with your preferred providers to keep you that des those desired results up. And then payments are never lost. So if for some reason your treatment is missed, your credit can always be applied at a later date. There's no hidden fees, no interest, no financing. It, it's truly a win-win. And you also get access to an exclusive Elite Club mobile app to access your membership payments, your treatment history, and your appointment reminders just from the, the touch of your phone. So to get started, it's as easy as receiving your personalized treatment plan from the office, getting treated, and then lastly, starting to feel like your best self. If you're interested in today's um, Elite Club, we simply ask that you fill out an online contact form so that our team can reach out to you with next steps. Upon receiving your next treatment in the office, you'll pay just as you would, like a normal treatment in full, and then just that first monthly payment towards your next visit. This will keep you on track in order to begin your membership and allow you to always be paid off at your next visit. So there's really no need for you to bring your wallet in. Um, as long as you stay on schedule and your desired treatment plan, you really will always be paid off at every visit. Any questions? I think people really love the convenience factor of this. Um, this is something that's still newly launched for us for uh, Elite MD. And the, the beauty is, is that you get to literally just get text messages of when you need to come in. You don't have to worry about anything because they're very, um, they're locked in discounts at low monthly subscription um, uh, fees that you would pay, but at locked in discounts that will never go up. So Elite MD usually does do um, price increases on a yearly basis. And so what's great is you're locked in and you're grandfathered into it. So you never have to pay full price on those treatments that you love, um, including skincare. So that's the beauty of uh, the Elite Club membership program. 
Absolutely. And it looks like we have a question here. Sure. What if you join, then relocate, or some other reason comes up that you can't make future visits, you have paid towards? So that credit is never lost. Um, if you ever wish to revisit Dr. Sonia's practice, you're welcome to use that credit on file at any time. Um, even if your treatments have been canceled and your membership is canceled, that credit lives within her practice forever. And so that can be used on skincare or um, Bella shape or, or any other treatments that you're interested in the office. And that was the beauty during um, COVID. Um, we actually did pause um, many of the treatment plans and um, they just basically built up some credits. And so now they're just so excited to be able to get back in and to get back getting refreshed again. So they're utilizing all their credits now. So it's very flexible in that way. If, if anything changes along time, we can be very flexible with that. And certainly if anything happens with moving and things like that, no problem can cancel anytime. Perfect. So thank and you, then, Laura. Yes. And what is the Elite oh, Club sure. link? So um, the Elite Club actually will be a sign up in person. So we just ask that you fill out a contact form. Our team will reach out to you, schedule an in-person consultation. Um, Dr. Sonia and her team will build a customized treatment plan for you, which will also dictate the price of the membership. So the next question was, what is the price of the membership? That really varies upon patients. So um, you know, if you're if you're combining a hydrofacial with filler, with Botox, with Vela Shape, um, you know that could range in in you know 300, 400, 500. If you're doing you know a hydrofacial and and Botox, that could be a little bit um, lower. Like you know 200 is probably our our average monthly payment. So it's really customized not only to your results but also to your budget as well. So um, it's very flexible and and definitely not a, a permanent thing. So you can try. Botox for a little bit, you can try filler, you can try hydrofacial and really get that, that perfect treatment plan for you. And the goal is to give you natural results. So I hope bottoms yes. up. <laughs> yes, very natural. So um, also we've got a podcast. Hope you guys get a chance to listen in. This is Beauty Inside Out. We talked about beauty outside in, but this is also a way to help with um, beauty internally and, and really um, giving you that glow. We've got some books also for more information on a lot of common conditions that we do treat. Um, and here's how to get started. So very, very simple. Um, what I would encourage everyone to do who is interested in any of these procedures is to go to our website tonight and fill out the contact form. So leadmdspa.com slash contact. Uh, let us know that you attended the virtual event um, and any questions that you have, you can put in there and any interest you have in what services. So, um, you know, be very specific so that we can then call you tomorrow to arrange whatever it is that you need and answer any questions. Uh, when they call you, our skincare concierge will give you a call to reserve time. It looks like, I was just checking on the schedule today, we're booked out about at least a couple of weeks, so I apologize about that, but if you can stay flexible and stay with us, um, it'll probably be sometime after that. Um, there will be a deposit to hold your space for that. Um, when you come into the office, you're going to be meeting with your expert, with our expert team, including our uh, board certified nurse practitioner who was trained by me, who will then individualize a treatment plan specific for you. Um, if you decide that this is a treatment plan that will work for your new year, new you, they will go ahead and sign you up for the elite club, which will allow you to start getting your treatments that day, lock in those specials essentially, and then we'll essentially text you when it's time to come in. You will get a free um, skincare, Elite MD medical grade skincare product when you sign up as well. It's the um, skincare product of the month, so you can enjoy that uh, when you guys come in. Um, and if you decide you, you're, you're wanting to do some research and waiting on this, that's fine too. Um, this is what the promotion is going on at this time for tonight. If at the very, very least, I would encourage you to at least get on medical grade skincare. And there's a link as well to our store page. Um, very least sun, medical grade sunscreen, retinol, 100% dermatologists agree. You've got to be on those two. And then you can add in other problematic things that you might have, whether it's moisture, hyperpigmentation or rosacea or acne. We've got literally a line of like 50 different products. Um, so at the very least, you want to prime your skin. And then when it comes time, you will be primed and ready to do any in-office treatment. And that will just work that much better. Um, 
And really, um, the last ask that I have of you guys is please text us and let us know how, uh, give us some feedback. And I hope you guys learned something valuable tonight that you could use or, you know, utilize for the future. Um, but do get started today. I mean, I have so many people and moms in particular who uh, take care of everybody else and forget to take care of themselves. So it's time to take care of you. Anything that you're interested in, uh, let us know, give us feedback and anything that you want to learn about in the future. We'll probably be doing this on a monthly basis. Do let me know so I can tailor this to you guys. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and I hope that this was something that, that was very valuable to you. I thank you guys for taking time out of your busy Thursday night to join us. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy new year, new you, and a natural beauty inside out you. Bottoms up. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. We will be in touch with you. Okay. Thank you. Um, thank you. For any unanswered questions, just fill up the contact form. I put up the information or the link on the chat box. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, April. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you, Willa. Dr. Sonia, please tell Dr. Bansel Tempest said hello. Oh, hi, Tempest. I hi. will. I will. He loves hearing from his patients. And he's they're always telling me, tell Dr. Bansel this, that, and that, and that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and they, got gifts and, they got gifts and all sorts of stuff for him. And I was like, wait, where's mine? <laughs> It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> Luckily, he shares for the most part. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you, Tempest. How are you? Everything going I'm, good? Oh, it's going okay. It's going okay. You know, I'm in Texas, but I come home from time to time. So I'm actually going to schedule a consultation. Okay. Um, I'm going to be there in March. So that okay. should be plenty of time. Yeah. Good. Are you already in the books to come in? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm on the contact page right now. Oh, so. perf oh, perfect. Yes. Let us know. And, and, and you can say, hi, Dr. B there too. And I'll see him in probably about an hour. So I'll let him know that you joined. I'm so happy you were able to join us from Texas. Yeah, no, I, I got the email. I'm still on your email list. So I got oh, the email. Good. 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 Hang out. Yeah. All right. Where Take are you care. in Texas? I'm, we're going to join. Oh. We're going to be visiting Austin soon. Where are you in Texas? Oh, I'm in Houston. I love Austin. I know. Yeah, we're excited Austin, to, to be out there. It makes me think of the Bay Area. It reminds me of the it Bay does. Area. It's so yeah. cute. I love it. And the weather, yeah. weather's good. The weather's good right yeah. now, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 awesome. yeah. Well, I'll be yeah. posting, I'm sure, on Instagram when I'm when I'm uh, down in Texas. I think so I follow just... you guys on Instagram, too. I oh, do. Please. Yes, yeah. please make sure you do. I'll post some I pictures. Do. Okay. Yay. All right, Tempest, good to see you. Thank Bye. you. Bye, Bye guys. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Elaine, oh my God. So many times, so many.